I, Dr. Rita Pratap, Associate Professor, Department of Drawing and Painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. I am going to speak on Rajasthani School of Painting with special reference to Amir School of Painting and Jaipur School of Painting. Module 20, Rajasthani School of Painting. Rajasthani miniature painting during the 17th century is one of the most brilliant chapters in the history of Indian art. The word Rajput in the minds of most Indian is synonymous with valor or courage and would never be associated with word painting. Rajput in a colloquial term derived from Sanskrit Rajputra meaning son of king. By the 16th century, the word was used to designate the princes and the martial classes who lived in the region, now known as Rajasthan, land of kings. In contiguous areas such as Bundelkhand, Malwa, Gujarat and in the hill state that flourished in western Himalayas. Art and literature have always flourished in the congenial environment of natural and physical surroundings of Rajasthan. In the history of Indian art, Rajasthan has an important place because of its unique geographical, historical and cultural background. With regard to the nomenclature of Rajasthani paintings, scholars hold different opinion. Some call Rajput painting. It was in 1916 AD that Dr. Anand Kumaraswamy attempted to classify Rajasthani painting in his book entitled Rajput painting. According to him, Rajasthani painting has its expansion from the border of Gujarat to Bikaner and from Jodhpur to Gwalior and Ujjain. Dr. Rayakrishan Das' opinion was that the Rajput style did not have enough substance to identify itself. Though the Rajputs were a ruling class and they could not influence the style of art which had various centers in the whole of India. Art historian Basil Gray says that the name Rajput painting seems plausible because the expansion of Rajput painting had taken place from Bundelkhand to Gujarat and states ruled by Pahari Rajputs. Vachaspati Garola has sticked to Rajasthani painting under the heading Rajput style of painting. Under the British rule, the whole region was named as Rajputana and after independence, a little variation was done and it was renamed as Rajasthan. Colonel Todd named it as Rajasthan or Rajasthan. Now, the origin and development of Rajasthani schools. How did it take place? I am going to give you a brief description about it. Like many other art schools of India, the origin and development of Rajasthani painting did not take place in one area, nor was it cultivated by only a few artists. In all, ancient town, nine religious and cultural centers of Rajasthan, painting blossomed and flourished. Ateliers grew up in every state and fine art was done not only in every state but also in almost all the Thikanas, feudal states, big or small like Mewar, Ajmer, Bikaner, Udaipur, 
जयपुर नाथद्वारा अलवर शेखावाटी कोटा बूंदी झालावाड़ ऑल बिकेम प्रोलिफिक सेंटर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पेंटिंग्स व प्रोड्यूस्ड ओवर रेंजिंग वाइड रेंज ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स एज रिगार्ड्स टू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ राजस्थानी स्टाइल्स स्कॉलर्स गेव डाइवर्जेंट व्यूज आर्टिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेट्स हु पेंटेड इन देर ओन स्टाइल्स कन्फर्म लोकल कंडीशंस द डिस्टिंक्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पेंटिंग्स दस प्रोड्यूस्ड हैज बीन टर्म्ड द स्टाइल ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर रीजन इन राजस्थान न्यूमरस स्टाइल्स केम इन टू प्रोमिनेंस नोटेबली द मेवार मारवाड़ किशनगढ़ बूंदी कोटा जयपुर एंड अलवर स्कूल्स मेवाड़ बूंदी एंड किशनगढ़ स्कूल्स व गिवन रिकोगशन बाय डॉक्टर मोती चंद्र हरमन गोयट्स काल खंडालावाला राम गोपाल विजयवर्गी एंड कमर संग्राम सिंह ऑफ नवलगढ़ दे एडेड मोर स्टाइल्स एंड सब स्टाइल्स पर्टेनिंग टू मारवाड़ बीकानेर कोटा जयपुर उनियारा एंड देवगढ़ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ जोग्राफिकल एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंडीशंस राजस्थानी पेंटिंग मे बी स्टडेड आफ्टर क्लासीफाइंग इट इन फोर पार्ट्स राजस्थानी स्कूल हैज फोर प्रिंसिपल स्कूल्स इन विच मैनी स्टाइल्स एंड सब स्टाइल्स फ्लरिश्ड एंड इन्फ्लुंस्ड ईच अदर The first is the Mewad School. It comprises of Udaipur, Chawand, Devgarh, Nathdwara, Sawar styles and sub styles. The second is the Marwad School, comprising of Jodhpur, Bikaner, Kishangarh, Jaisalmer, Pali, Nagaur, Ghanerao. styles and sub styles the third is the hardoti school comprising of bundi kota jhalawar styles and sub styles the fourth school is the dhundar school comprising of amer jaipur shekhawati uniara alwa styles and sub styles having placed the styles and sub styles a detailed study of individual school was undertaken i attempted to research on dhundar that is amer and jaipur school of painting now i'm going to talk about the amer school which flourished in the very beginning before jaipur school of painting came into existence amer school was the predecessor of the jaipur school of painting but the later was in no way a blind follower of it however the jaipur school of painting does owe its origin and legacy in the amer school and in order to trace the genesis and development of the jaipur school the amer school and the patronage accorded to it by the maharaja man singh and others has to be studied the earliest dated ad 1404 an illustrated manuscript of adi puran belongs to amer shastra bhandar samvat 1461 bhadwa sudhi to budhwar in line is the adi puran found at palam that is yognipur of ad 1540 plate 1 it has 344 pages of 11 inch by 5 inch and has 
about 550 paintings. This Purana was copied by Hari Nath Kayastha for Chaudhary Raimal of Ame. Adi Puran Sambat 1597, Fagun Sudhi 13, Shri Digambar Jain Terapanthi Mandir. The subjects painted in Adi Puran are the 14 dreams, Indra Sabha, Janam Abhishek, Nirvan, Puran Kalash, Mahavir Janam, Kalp Vriksh, Padam Sarovar, etc. Symbolic motifs like chariot, deer, tree, kalash, elephant, lion, peacock, Megh Mala, Kumb, Toran, Kadli, etc. are all painted in green, blue, yellow and Hingulu colors. The paintings show the impact of folk culture prevalent in those days. These paintings are of the same type as of the Geet Govinda of Prince of Wales Museum, Bombay and the Lord Chanda paintings of Lahore Museum. A few years ago, a large collection of paintings pertaining to different schools from the Thikana, Isarda. Isarda is a small faf of the Jaipur state, 125 kilometers southeast of Jaipur. Collection of painting was sold in the market, out of which some happened to be of the series of Bhagwat Dasham Skand of AD 1550 to 1580. Sa Mitha Ram and Sa Nana are the names of artists which appear on them. This is pertaining to plate 2. According to Amrit Rai's manuscript, composed in Sambat 1642 AD 1585 is Man Charitra. Beautiful pictures of animals, birds and floral plants were painted on the walls of Amir Palace of Man Singh. Narutam Kavi, who composed his work in Amir, also give details of Ragmala, Krishan Leela, Amaru Sataka, Nayak Naika Bhed, etc. Painted in the palace walls in bright red, yellow and green. A few panels of wall paintings have been discovered at Mansingh's palace at Amir Fort. In plate 3, they show Krishna playing the flute or grazing cows with the gopis. The gopis, tall and slim and well proportioned, don a stripped lehenga and choli. The female figures are almost in popular Mughal style and similar to Rasik Priya fragments in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. In the Madhva Nala, Kama Kandala, Chopai, fragments in the Berlin Museum and in the Ramayana fragments in the Prince of Wales Museum, Bombay. The painters working for Raja Man Singh's atelier also followed the same norms and produced paintings in a style not different from the so-called popular Mughal style. Raja Man Singh's interest in painting is further confirmed from traces of paintings found in Makdum Shah's mosque, presently the ruined tower at Mozmabad. The dome has four graceful winged angels wearing sweeping gowns. Hunters with bows in hand can be seen on the horses. They are wearing jama, girdle and turban. The outside ceiling is painted with floral 
and geometrical designs. The same is also evidenced from the Gauri Shankar Mahadev Temple at Bekatapur in Bihar. Wall paintings AD 1586 in the rooms, kiosks and outer walls have also been found at the Mughal Garden at Berat. Berat is situated on the way to Jaipur and Alva. The paintings have a variety of subjects including mythological themes, Ragamala, the Krishna theme, wrestlers, elephants, camels, Laila Majno themes and scenes depicting dance parties. Dr. Saryu Doshi has traced an illustrated manuscript named Yashodhar Charitra, AD 1591, painted at Amir, containing 47 paintings in a style not far from the mainstream of Jain miniature style. This Yashodhar Charitra can be seen in plate 5. Iti Yashodhar Charitra Pushpika Samvat 1647 Varsh Jesht Sudhi Tritya Mam Bhum Vasare Puna Vasuna Shatre Shri Neminath Jin Chaitale Ambavati Vatsave Maharaja Dhiraj Mansingh Raja Pravas Mini In the paintings, the females are shown wearing Ponchi Bhujuband, Kamarband, and have the black pompons hanging from their long plates. Bhujband and Langas, as found in the Akbar and Jhangir period paintings. The male are wearing dhoti and short trousers. Both male and the females are wearing ornaments. Another illustrated manuscript traced by Dr. Saryu Doshi is the Adi Puran of AD 1606, which was prepared at Mosmabad. Adi Puran Samvat 1663, Varshe Chaitra Sudhi Panch, Li Josi Radha, Mosmabad Madhe. This Purana has 338 illustrations. The figures have big eyes and are shown wearing transparent clothes. The influence of Mughal painting is evident in several panels but such influence is translated into local Rajasthani idiom. The figures have Atpati Pagli and jamas with four points, thus placing them during the late Akbari or early Jangiri period. The only state with which Mughals had intimate relations was Amir, home of Akbar's favorite wife, Maryam Az Zamani, of his best general, Man Singh, and of Jangir's second wife. The illustration in Hamza Nama gives clear evidence of the influence of early Rajasthani painting. The two female figures are unlike those found in any Mughal painting and are distinctly Rajput. In the famous Razm Nama completed for Akbar in AD 1588, the Hindu style elements are different from the Safavid tradition. They are intelligible only on the assumption of a far going absorption of Rajput style elements. That these Hindu elements in Akbari Mughal painting came from Amir can be proved by the fact that the earlier figure of Hindu ladies therein 
wear the same costumes as those of the ladies of Maryam as Zamani's households. Whereas later figures since AD 1600 often show a different type, that is, the Jodhpur costume of the retinue of Jangir's first wife, Jodhabai, mother of Shah Jahan. The origin of the style is not yet ascertained. It cannot be much earlier than AD 1580, that is, the date of Hari Devji temple at Govardhan. It is evidently based on the Rajput tradition of the time. As we know from the Jalis of Mansing Palace and the Bundela Ragamala, but its principal characteristics stem from Indo-Muslim painting in Malwa, most of the territory of which has been taken over by the Rajputs. Also, other contributing elements have to be taken into account, like the early Jaunpuri and Bengali, even Deccani, why these later Vijayanagari. To the early Kachava school of Bhagwant Dasa, who reigned from AD 1573 to 1589, we may ascribe especially the Ragmala manuscript Lore or 149, which Khandalawala and Moti Chandra have attributed to Bijapur. Although the figures are identical with those of the Jaipur Razmnama, which is a Persian translation of Mahabharata from Akbar's studio and even with those of Rajput and Rajputnis in the siege scenes of Ranthambore and Chittorgarh in the Akbar Nama of the Victoria and Albert Museum, London. Some of its miniatures must be of very early period, around AD 1580. Their composition still is very simple and stands not far from the Bundela primitives, but the technique is already much more refined and detailed. There still fingers something of the tension and expressionistic emotionalism in those Bundela works. And yet the general effect is rather cool, more vivid than exalted. In the Chhatri of Raja Man Singh, erroneously hitherto called the Chhatri of Raja Bhamal, are beautiful murals painted directly on grained stone in tempera colors. The subject is set in a painted arch while the two corners are filled with floral designs. Archers, Kaliya Daman, a tiger attacking a lion, Lord Ganesha, an owl and a crane, Todi Ragni, Matasya Avtar, Vishnu on Garud are few subjects of great variety. The inscription dated AD 1620 reads as Rama Samvat 1677 Baishak Sudhi 6 Chhatri Maharaja Man Singh Ka. The painting can be viewed in plate 6. Maharaja Bhav Singh AD 1614 to 1621. Besides erecting a cenotope for Maharaja Man Singh and executing paintings in it, had wall paintings done at Bhavpura near Ranwal. It is a place 40 kilometers from Jaipur. An inscription found in a step well dates it to AD 1637. The Chhatri has 12 panels painted in the niches on lime plaster in the folk style. In one of them are two dancers which can be visualized in plate 7. Mirza Raja Jai Singh was very close to Shah Jahan and Aurangzeb. His love for literature, art 
and architecture is seen in the collection of Sanskrit manuscripts of celebrated poets like Bihari Lal, Narottam and Kulpati Mishra and in the magnificent palace and buildings constructed by him in Amir, Agra and elsewhere. The painting in Mirza Raja's court introduced idioms of Mughal architecture, male costumes and general composition and decoration of the Mughal painting in Jahangir's later and Shah Jahan's early reign. But fundamentally, the miniatures conserved the simplicity, the Rajput female costume, the more sweeping character of lines, the more contrasted colors, the flatness of the figures, the lack of perspective, the strictly geometrical compositions of Rajput tradition as is shown by the miniatures in the Baroda Museum. At the time of Mirza Raja Jai Singh, ordinary copies of Rasik Priya and Krishna Rukmani Vili were prepared in 1639 for Chandravati, one of his Maharanis. Rasik Priya Sambat 1696, Parvat Mane Maharaja Dhiraj Raji Shri Jai Singh Ji Rajgad Ambavati Nagre Likhe. These contain several designs and couple of illustrations of Krishna and milkmaids in folkish style. To the same period belongs the decoration of Ganesh pole of the Ame Palace. The central facade of the gateway has figures of Lord Ganesha painted with two plants on either side adopted from the Mughal. Two paintings belonging to Amir school, Badsha Begum of AD 1615 and Pancham Ragini of AD 1650 are also in a folk style. These two paintings can be seen in plate 8. The Kachava princess thus assumed the fashions of the Mughal court. At home, they employed local painters who struck to stereotype emotional or introvert Rajasthani themes. Later came the symbiosis of the two styles. Thus, from the primitivism of the Rasik Priya pictures to the refinement of the portraits, there is a clear advance. The drawing is more sensitive the colors and line are mellower and the whole outlook is refined. In the Maharaja Savai Mansingh Museum, Jaipur, there are preserved a few mutilated folios of a manuscript written in Nagri script. There is a miniature which has a likeness of Mirza Raja Jaisi. This damaged miniature resembles the Mughal style of the late 17th century with intimate character study, fine line work and mellow color scheme. There is also a 34 feet long scroll illustrating numerous drawings and designs depicting the scenes based on poems of Surdas entitled Sapt Loka Ajra Amra Amsake Kharada. The style here is folkish like that of Rasik Priya and wall paintings at Ame. The paintings have a simplicity and storytelling quality characteristic of the scroll. Flat colors have been used against the background of pools and fountains, trees and shrubs and simple architecture. A number of lively portraits of Mirza Raja Jai Singh I, Kishan Singh and Bishan Singh were prepared by the court painters in the style not far from the contemporary Mughal court style. 
A painting shows Vishan Singh hunting with a hawk in a marshy countryside. Minute studies of Kishan Singh holding a falcon and Ram Singh one standing in his regal splendor are characteristic of Amir school of painting. Now I am going to speak on the Jaipur school of painting. During the reign of Raja Ram Singh one, a 456 feet and 13 feet wide long horoscope of Kumar Kishan Singh was prepared. It is painted in good quality paper lined with cloth in the Mughal court style which depicts stars, planets, deities, etc. In the time of Savai Jaising, Jaipur painting began to emerge as an independent school. The style of painting changed from the folk and the crude to a refined one. Mohammad Shah was one of the court painters of his time. The court records in state archives Bikanir indicate that Mughal painters like Fazil Muhammad and Sadiq Muhammad were brought by Savai Jaising from Delhi after the establishment of the scientifically planned Jaipur city in AD 1727. Mithi Posh Krishna won Sambhat 1784. Jaising invited eminent craftsmen and artists to settle down in Jaipur. It was Savai Jaising who adopted the systems of Karkhanas on the Mughal pattern. He reorganized the management and upkeep of the art treasure, day-to-day -day running of the affairs, the maintenance of protocol and other paraphernalia. He fixed the number of karkhanas at 36 according to his requirements. Surat Khana was the name given to a karkhana or department where paintings acquired by the rulers from time to time were preserved and where artists prepared new paintings as per order of the rulers. Numerous artists worked under the patronage of different Kachwa rulers. The names have been recorded below from the leaves of Thok Chitera of Surat Khana in the Rajasthan State Archives Bikane and a few names have been found in paintings available in various museums and art collections. After the organization of Surat Khana, the distinct Jaipur school of painting Bargyon, Jaising was inspired by Lord Krishna. Religious sentiments were touched when he visited Braj Mandala at his early age. He was deeply interested in the four principal Vaishnavite schools of devotion. After a critical study of the spiritual literature, Jaising dedicated his state to the feet of Sri Govind Dev Ji. His official seals bore the inscription Sri Govinda Charnam Savai Jaising Sharan. The influence of Gaudiya sect attracted him when he was the governor at Mathura and Agra. He collected old manuscripts of Vaishnav scriptures. These manuscripts were embellished with acquisite paintings. Almost all schools of Northern India adopted the theme of Radha Govinda. Savai Jaisi employed a number of gifted artists to do Krishna paintings. It is significant to note that Aurangzeb was a Puritan and he discontinued patronage of fine arts like music and painting, which were against the Muslim canons. The Mughal court, which was hitherto a great center of culture, no longer patronized artists who consequently dispersed to other centers like Amir. Mughal artists got patronage under Savai Jaisin. That the Mughal artists came to Amir is attested by the records 
in the Rajasthan State Archives, Bikani. It was this, besides the matrimonial alliances and the political arbitrary status of Amir to the Mughal Empire, that caused Amir and later Jaipur to be influenced by the Mughal idiot. Out of their awe and sense of gratitude for Savai Jaising, the artists like Gopal, Lala Ram Chitera, Daya Ram, Deepa, Dwarka, Pokhar, Bheem Chand, Samla, etc. painted a considerable number of illustrations of Rasik Priya, Kavi Priya, Geet Govind, Shak Rintu, Varnan, Baramasha, Navras and Ragmala sets representing the hero's figure in striking resemblance with his person. The Ram Chitra's painting based on musical modes were the dated examples found in 1709 in the Maharaja of Kankrodi collection. One of its folios has an inscription after the Raga's description. This can be seen in plate 9. Sambat 1766 Ka Miti Jet Vaditi Shaniware Nikhite Ram Krishna Mahatma Gad Sambati Madhya Maharaja Ji Shri Jai Samadha Raja Vikram Sambat 1766 Sambat 1766 third of the dark half of the month Jesht on Saturday written by Ram Krishna Mahatma of Ambavati Fort during the reign of Maharaja Jaisi. This set has 32 paintings executed in a vertical format measuring 7 by 11 inch with a red border and Braj Bhasha inscription in Devnagri script on yellow ground margin. These paintings show Shah Jahan period columns, arches, painted or decorated that dinedar doors and deep pinkish brown chajas which were common in Amir and Jagar at his time. Another production of this period was of Saras Ras Granth, AD 1737 on poetics by Shivdas Rai, one of Savai Jaising's favorite old poets. Almost all the 39 illustrations are of high quality and deal with the Krishna theme in a variety of rich and bright colors. One of the illustrations can be seen in plate 10. Portrait painting was also a prominent feature in the Surat Khan, the atelier of his time. In the later part of Savai Jaising's reign, a famous portrait painter, Sahib Ram, started painting. A large number of examples of portraits prepared by him have been found. A portrait can be seen in plate 11. In the paintings of Jaising's period, the simple Rajput composition is preserved with flatness and lack of depth. The Mughal color technique, the shadowing, the suggestion of a rather heavy atmosphere, etc., have been integrated. Though the paintings with Kasturba, Lelkhai, Sisodia collection, Bharat Kala Bhavan, and British Calcutta and Baroda museums are close to the Mughal tradition, yet there is always a difference in the selection of subjects inspired by Hindu classical literature or Hindu religion. The lack of sophistication and the more pronounced lyric character. Savai Ishwari Singh too extended the same patronage to art. He rearranged the large collection of paintings accumulated by Savai Jesse and his predecessors. He got scenes painting depicting his hobbies of elephant riding boar hunting, tiger killing, and watching fights of elephants, camels, horses, dogs, and buffaloes in the Chaka. His liking for elephants is manifested in the Savai Jaising Chhatri where figures of elephants are carved in marble. 
A list of 2,498 paintings in the Surat Khana at that time included pictures of deities, portraits of Mughal emperors from Baba to Muhammad Shah, the Kachwa rulers of past and present, rulers of Udaipur, Jodhpur, Bikanir, Pune, and leading nobles. There were pictures of Europeans, saints, and holy men, birds, and animals, scenes of hunting, processions, war, wars, and even ships, Baramasa, Mahabharata, and erotic paintings. Sahibram, Hira, Pokhar, Jagroop, Uddaram, and Satram were artists working in Surat Khan. Savai Madhu Singh. Savai Madhu Singh ordered the artist to record incidents concerning his court life in all their aspects. Savai Madhu Singh's life portrait can be seen in plate 12. The court scenes recorded imperial pomp and circumstances with extreme stateliness and thereby strengthened the formalist's trend. Madhu Vilas in Chandra Mahal alone was richly decorated with panels showing the Maharaja in the company of female dancers, musicians and courtesans. Besides Sahibram, Ramji Das, Sita Ram, Uddha, Kushala, Pokar, Mayaram, Gopram, Shamlal, Navla, Deepa, Tiroka, Hira, Bhavani Ram, Usta and Jaikishan Chitera worked in his reign in Surat Khan. Savai Prithvi Singh ascended the throne in AD 1767. In his time, court artists like Hiranand, Triloka, Bhavani Ram Usta, Govinda, Sahib Ram, Ramji Das, Sita Ram, Jeevan, Uday, Gopal, Chukma, Salga, Mangal portrayed him sitting, standing and on horseback. A life portrait of Savai Prithvi Singh can be seen in plate 30. The top inscription in the painting reads as Shri Maharaja Dhiraj, Shri Savai Parthi Singh, Bode, Ubha Banai, Mangal Chitera Ki. The glorious chapter of Jaipur painting started with the accession of Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh in AD 1778. A life portrait of Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh can be seen in plate 14. Jaipur's style of painting at his court entered a new and dynamic phase. Pratap Singh, being a devotee of Pushti, the subject matter centered on the adventure and romance of Lord Krishna. This can be seen in plate 15. Numerous individual miniatures of the Maharaja and the Maharaja worshipping Krishna or the image of Govindaji were prepared by painters. Painters of Pratap Singh also prepared a fine Ragamala AD 1779 to 1803. Plate 16 on the text of Meskarna and the compilation of the Maharaja himself entitled Sangeet Shastri. Here the figures are drawn neatly and painted in the characteristics of Jaipuri color scheme. He commissioned artists to paint massive volumes of Ramayana, Bhagavad Puran, Devi Mahatamya, etc. The Bhagavad Dasham Skan seen in plate 17 has 366 paintings which was completed in 1792 by 14 painters and the Durga path set one of the paintings can be seen in plate 18 was completed in 1799 with 102 paintings these paintings are lively and are painted in a very bold and competent manner. Small size manuscripts of Geet Govind, AD 1793, Bhagavad Gita and Gita Panchtantra were also illustrated. The result was that the atelier of Pratap Singh had the maximum number of artists employed till date. They were Sahib Ram, Gopal, Ram Sevak, 
रामजी दास हुक्मा घासी जीवन मंगल निरंजन फैजुल्ला त्रिलोका सांबला राधा किशन राजू चिमना मन्ना कलम चितेरा राम किशन सीताराम नारायणा दुर्गा लेखमा गोपाल कुमाना गोविंद रामा सांबला धन्ना हुकमचंद सांवर जलालमा एक्सेट्रा ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ सवाई जगत सिंह द आर्ट एंड टेक्निक ऑफ पेंटिंग एट जयपुर हैड स्टार्ट डिक्लाइनिंग विद द कमिंग ऑफ फॉरन इन्फ्लुएंस तो सब आर्टिस्ट लाइक साहेब राम एंड अदर्स उदय त्रिलोका शिव बख्श गोविंद राम कुमार मंगल रामजी दास लेखमा पन्ना लाल सालीग्राम एक्सेट्रा कैप्ट ऑफ द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ स्टाइल एंड टेक्निक द महाराजा गॉड पेंटिंग्स ऑफ हिमसेल्फ एग्जीक्यूटेड इन सीन्स ऑफ दरबार्स और विथ हिज फेवरेट कोटिसन रसकोपुरा और सीटेड इन जनाना मंजलिस विथ अ पार्टी ऑफ सिंगर्स एंड डेमेसल्स दिस पेंटिंग कैन बी सीन इन प्लेट ट्वेंटी वेल द किंग रिवेल्ड इन स्प्लेंडर पॉम एंड लक्शरी द कंट्री साइड वॉज स्प्लेंडर्ड बाय थाकुर्स मराठास एंड पिंडारीज द इजीनेस वॉज शॉर्ट टू बी ड्राउंड इन गे फेस्टिवल्स पॉम्पस पीजेंट्स डिबॉचरी डांस एंड म्यूजिक This was reflected in some of the paintings of the period. Even the genuine mysticism of the earlier centuries was debased into a voluptuous amusement for which Ras Leela offered a pretext. Besides these, Geet Govind of AD 1803, Vishnu Shahasranama of AD 1807, and Jagdev Pawar Vrata of 1812 were some dated paintings of his time the local style thus could not last for long after the coming of the british and jaipur having signed a treaty with them in ad 1803 and again ratifying it in ad 1818 the high tradition of paintings further suffered during the rule of savai jaising iii but artists like gomana lekhma manna pannalal ramlal mangal etc continued to work in the surat khana during the time of savai ram singh too paintings related to common folk traditions acrobatic feats dancing scenes and portraits were painted the other works were sant sanjeevni of 1838 shri Sir Vrithi Sahitya of 1846 in AD 1848 Mahabharata set containing 71 paintings and in AD 1850 the Bhagavad Gita set containing 10 paintings were painted by Mohan Lal Ram Lal Ganga Baksh Madhu Lal Raghunath Sham Shankar the court artist of his period The paintings were now painted in realistic style and were different from the prevalent tradition as most of the works of the native artists got hybridized with the foreign technique. Savai Ram Singh established the school of art and the photo karkhana. The tradition of painting continued at the time of Maharaja Savai Madhu Singh too. AD 1880 to 1922 many photo enlargements were oil painted some of which are displayed in the maharaja savai man singh to museum the jawar set fevers of AD 1920 containing 12 paintings was painted by mathulal ganga baksh nandram and kalu ram besides these works the copied paintings of bhagavat puran ramayana with a thick brush thus in spite of the patronage extended there was a complete deterioration because of mass production of inferior type of paintings used for commercial purpose with immense foreign influence and pigments these hybrid products proved very weak in style technique color scheme 
and composition. After the death of Savai Madhu Singh II, Savai Man Singh II, AD 1922 to 1970, took home. He let Surat Khana function as an important Karkhana. The Das Mahavidya set of AD 1940 containing 10 paintings is an example painted by Raghunath, Sham Sundar, Sham Lal, Mohan Lal, etc. New arrangements for display of paintings were done in spacious rooms of the city palace so that it was beneficial for the visitors and the scholars. To sum up, the Jaipur paintings, sacred and secular, catered to the spiritual and aesthetic needs, depicted romantic love in all its sensuous elegance and super mundane symbolism, portrayed religious myths and poetic imagery. While Mughal painting was modern in its recording of subjects peculiar to the Muslim rulers, Jaipur painting remained largely traditional in its illustrations of the Indian epics, romantic Vaishnav literature and musical modes. The development of the Jaipur school of painting was a pictorial counterpart of the classical vernacular literature of India. The early art of the reign might be considered as a merging of folk art with hayatic and classical traditions. The art betrays certain characteristics found in the declining phases of the evolution of Buddhist, Hindu and Jain wall paintings in the first millennium AD. The Jaipur painting was deeply rooted in the Indian tradition and drew away from the basis only under the attraction of Mughal taste. Unlike the Mughal painting, it occupied the pride of place within a cultural continuum. Thus, it may be said that the sources of inspiration were religious and cultural. The paintings reflected the traditional past and portrayed the mundane present of that period. It was a reflection of the contemporary religion and society.